What's the best thing you've watched on Netflix? Arcane. Every episode was fantastic. Altered Carbon is up there. It's a shame they're discontinuing that show. Very original idea. A gripping story. And excellent acting. Mindhunter. Black Mirror. Cyberpunk Edge Runners had no reason to be as good as it was. I'm a sucker for a good foreign drama. So here's my list Dark Aries Black Spot Valhalla Murders. The Haunting of Hill House, but it could be any of Mike Flanagan's series TBH. Lupin. Breaking Bad. Arcane. Bojack Horseman is incredible. Arcane. Dark. Haunting of the Hill House. Brand new cherry flavor. Blue Jay. Behind her eyes. Haunting of Hill House. Can't believe I haven't seen anyone mention Maniac. Fantastic miniseries. Mindhunter. Gone to soon. Midnight Mass. Breaking Bad. The original Netflix binge fest and still so so good. Bojack Horseman. Peaky Blinders. Cyberpunk Edge Runners. Absolutely top tier show. Dark. Love Death and Robots or Altered Carbon. Extraordinary Attorney Wu. I don't watch Korean shows normally. But this was so freaking well done. It's heartfelt. Feel good and hilarious. I got a few wrecks to watch this from others who also never normally see this type of things and they all love it. Stranger Things. Sex Education. Dark. Orange is the New Black. Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul. Sandman. Shit's Creek. Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Dirk Gently's Something Something. Bodyguard. A UK-based series with thrilling action politics in Vloved. It had a good twist as well. Loving every episode of it. Queen's Gambit. The Platform. Aside from the middle part it's a very good movie. Black Mirror and Love. Death and Robots. Anne with an E. My parents watched it with me too. I feel that there are amazing lessons and if you can watch that show all the way through then I believe you could probably handle hanging out with me. My BSF watched it all the way through. With me. Dark. Absolutely life-changing and sir. So. So underrated. Stranger Things. It's hardly perfect but it's original and entertaining. Dark. Valhalla Murders. Le Chalet. Maniac. With Emma Stone and Jonah Hill. No particular order. 1. Mindhunter. 2. The Revenge. 3. Midnight Gospel. 4. Archive 81. 5. The OA. 6. Sex Education. 7. Queen's Gambit. 8. The Crown. 9. Sandman. 10. Midnight Mass. 11. Haunting of Hill House. The King. Blood of Zeus. Blown Away. Sex Education. Atypical. Afterlife. Great British Baking Show. Haven't seen anyone mention Broadchurch yet. It's fantastic and David Tennant is amazing. Sense8 is hands down the best show Netflix has done. The Good Place. Apollo 11 and a half. It's an adult animated movie that takes the form of a nostalgic monologue about life in the 1960s. It has no linear plot. Instead being a fluid collection of childhood memories that lead up to witnessing the famous Apollo. 11 moon landing broadcast and best of all. It's narrated by Jack Black in what I think might be one of his greatest performances yet. The storytelling is phenomenal. This movie really brought the 1960s to life for me and made me feel like I had been alive then. Heartbreak High is pretty good. The representation is almost perfect. The layout for the episodes is really good. Longmire. Anne with an E. The Dark Crystal. So good. And get zero love. Messiah is pretty good but they aren't doing a second season which sucks. They left us with a huge cliffhanger. Money Heist. 
James A. Castor. Repertoire. Kid is an absolute genius. Rise of the Empire's Ottoman. Exclamation mark. Exclamation mark. Exclamation mark. Love. Death plus robots. Honestly. Probably stranger things. I can't think of any young actors. Teenagers. As famous as the kids in Stranger Things. And it has a very riveting plot. The Crown. Bojack Horseman. Castlevania. Witcher. This movie is not yet rated. King of the Hill. Back when it was on it. Archer. Back when it was on it. Desert Punk. Lucifer. As in an original. Do revenge or don't look up. Derry Girls Lock and Key. Easily Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul. Pup Academy. I just recently watched that Bruce Lee movie that come out a couple years ago. I really liked it. Probably my favorite thing I've seen in a while on there. They really need to bring back Cis Manos. Six Hands. Animated. 1970s style martial arts set in Mexico about 320 something kung fu students fighting a drug. Lord. From the same studio that makes Blood of Zeus. How to sell drugs online. Fast. The Haunting of Hill House. Without question. It was astounding. Brooklyn Mine 9. Although the last season is not in my country.